Neurotransmitters are literally just neurons or nerves in your brain that communicate with each other and actually are involved in the signaling of every process that goes on in your brain. So anything that disrupts that um, is pretty disastrous for, for everyday function. And so uh, the number one thing you want to look at is stress. Because remember, when you're stressed, you're literally using just a small part of your brain and you're closing off the communication between your brain and neurons are about communication. Now for having a direct effect on it, rhodiola is a adaptogenic herb that's really good for stress response. It also has an effect of helping serotonin and dopamine be active in your brain. It has this effect of allowing the precursors to making those two neural transmitters to be transported up into your brain much more easily. So that might be just a function of stress also, but rhodiola has always been known as something that increases serotonin and dopamine, which is very fascinating because one's more for activation and power of your brain, and the other one's more for mood and relaxation and a sense of well-being. So it kind of gives you an idea how these herbs have a multi-layered effect, and you're just not taking them for one single little reason, right? Ashwagandha, one of my other favorite herbs, is a direct, um, has a direct effect on building GABA. GABA is another one of those neurotransmitters that helps with relaxation and a sense of, of just being able to handle stress without becoming anxious or developing anxiety. It also increases the function of serotonin in your brain. So those are just two examples of a great adaptogenic herbs that have a pronounced effect on neurotransmitter activity in your brain.